all my pre-healthcare professionals. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Today we're continuing on with our ATIT's question review series and we're gonna be discussing sentence structure. Question one. The puppy barked. The puppy rolled over on his back. I realized the puppy wanted attention. I petted the puppy's head. To improve sentence fluency, which of the following best states the information above in a single sentence? Is it A, when the puppy barked and I petted the puppy's head and realized he wanted attention, he rolled over on his back. B, I petted the puppy's head as I realized he wanted attention and rolled over on his back and the puppy barked. C, when the puppy barked and rolled over on his back, I realized the puppy wanted attention so I petted his head. Or D, I realized the puppy wanted attention, so the puppy rolled over on his back and I petted the puppy's head and the puppy barked. And the correct answer is C, when the puppy barked and rolled over on his back, I realized the puppy wanted attention, so I petted his head. Choice C retains the intent of the original group of sentences by using dependent clauses and transitional words to subordinate the puppy's actions to the subject's response. The other choices muddle the meaning of the original sentences and place them in a non-linear sequence. College tuition costs have continued to escalate rapidly. Many more students are applying for financial aid. Which of the following uses a conjunction to combine the sentences above so that the focus is more on students applying for financial aid and less on escalating tuition costs? Is it since college tuition costs have continued to escalate rapidly, comma, many more students are applying for financial aid. B, college tuition costs have continued to escalate rapidly, comma, and many more students are applying for financial aid. C, college tuition costs have continued to escalate rapidly, many students are applying for financial aid. Or D, College tuition costs have continued to escalate rapidly, comma, many students, sorry, many more students are applying for financial aid. And the correct answer is A. Since college tuition costs have continued to escalate rapidly, comma, many more students are applying for financial aid. Through the use of the subordinating conjunction since, choice A positions the dependent clause pertaining to college tuition as secondary to the independent clause addressing students applying for financial aid. The barbershop on Main Street, blank. Which of the following completions for the above sentence results in a simple sentence structure? Is it A, decided to relocate since its lease expired at the shopping plaza? B, welcomed many new customers after its grand opening last weekend? C, is hiring several more employees and applicants should inquire within? Or D, is a local landmark located in the city's historic district downtown? And the correct answer is D. It is a local landmark located in the city's historic district downtown. Choice D provides an example of a simple sentence completion since it connects one verb, is, to one subject, shop. Choices A and B are complex sentences containing subordinating conjunctions and choice C is a compound sentence. Which of the following is an example of a simple sentence? Is it A, the girl with the long blonde ponytail and pink jeans played on the elementary school playground after she completed her homework? B, the girl with a long, comma, blonde ponytail and pink jeans played on the elementary school playground? C, the girl with a long, comma, blonde ponytail and pink jeans playing on the elementary school playground, or D, the girl with the long, comma, blonde ponytail and pink jeans. And the correct answer is B, the girl with the long, comma, blonde ponytail and pink jeans played on the elementary school playground. Choice B presents a simple sentence containing one subject, girl, and one verb, played. Choice A contains a dependent clause and is therefore a complex sentence. And choices C and D are sentence fragments lacking a verb. Which of the following is an example of a complex sentence? Is it A, before Ken may ride the bicycle he purchased from the yard sale, he must put air in the tires and fix the broken kickstand. B, Ken may ride the bicycle he purchased from the yard sale. C. K 
Ken must put air in the bicycle's tires to fix the broken kickstand. Or D, Ken may ride the bicycle he purchased from the yard sale, but he must put air in the tires and fix the broken kickstand. And the correct answer is A. Before Ken can ride the bicycle he purchased from the yard sale, he must put air in the tires and fix the broken kickstand. Choice A consists of a dependent clause followed by an independent clause, making it a complex sentence. Choices B and C are examples of simple sentences, while choice D is an example of a compound sentence. Which of the following is a simple sentence? Is it A, Jane's Vegetable Garden, B, receives plentiful sunshine and produces ample tomatoes, cucumbers, and green beans, C, because it receives plentiful sunshine, Jane's Vegetable Garden produces ample tomatoes, cucumbers, and green beans, or is it D? Jane's Vegetable Garden receives plentiful sunshine and produces ample tomatoes, cucumbers, and green beans. And the correct answer is D. Jane's Vegetable Garden receives plentiful sunshine and produces ample tomatoes, cucumbers, and green beans. Choice D is an example of a simple sentence consisting of one subject, the garden, and one verb, receives. Since it contains a dependent clause, choice C is a complex sentence. Choices A and B do not contain both a subject and a verb and are not complete sentences. Which of the following sentences uses slang that identifies the setting as the United States in the late 1960s or early 1970s? Is it A, he's a hottie but I don't mess with that, he's a scrub. B, that party was far out man, we had a gas. C, that mole has quite a kisser on her. She thinks she's the cat's pajamas. Or D, the vicar is droning on up. There is a cuckle tub. And the correct answer is B, the party was far out man, we had a gas. Far out man and gas are all slang terms that indicate the setting to be the late 1960s or early 1970s in America. Choice A would imply a setting of the 1990s in America, while choice C indicates the 1920s. Choice D may be unfamiliar, but it was used as a vicar indicates that of the British saying rather than the American one. Cockle tub is a Victorian slang word for pulpit. Which of the following is a simple sentence? Is it A, Mary was interested in archaeology before she studied paleontology? B, since Dan and his friends enjoy skiing, they've decided to try snowboarding. C, shingles on Jenna's garage roof are starting to come loose and must be replaced. Or D, red apple varieties tend to be sweet and green apple varieties tend to be crisp and tart. And the correct answer is C, shingles on Jenna's garage roof are starting to come loose and must be replaced. Even though the sentence contains a compound verb, it is composed of one independent clause and is therefore a simple sentence. Choices A and B are complex sentences with dependent clauses and choice D is a compound sentence. Phil prepared for his final exam. He reviewed his lecture notes. He read chapters in his textbook. He attended a study session. Which of the following choices best uses grammar for style and clarity to combine the sentences above? Is it A, Phil prepared for the final exam, though he reviewed his lecture notes and read chapters in his textbooks, he attended a study session. Is it B, after Phil prepared for the final exam, he reviewed his lecture notes and read chapters in his textbooks when he attended a study session. C, to prepare for the final exam, Phil reviewed his lecture notes, read chapters in his textbook, and attended a study session. Or is it D, once Phil prepared for the final exam, he reviewed his lecture notes, then he read chapters in his textbook and attended a study session. And the correct answer is C. To prepare for the final exam, Phil reviewed his lecture notes, read chapters in his textbook, and attended a study session. Choice C retains the intent of the original group of sentences by using a dependent clause to introduce the purposeful sentence of actions performed by the subject, Phil. The other choices distort the meaning of the original sentences through inappropriate subordinate conjunctions. And moving on to our last question. The man who walks his Labrador Retriever by our house, blank. 
Which of the following allows the above sentence to be complete as a simple sentence? Is it A, sometimes stops to talk about mutual friends in the neighborhood, B, sometimes stops to talk and he likes to discuss mutual friends, C, sometimes stops to talk although he only discusses mutual friends, or D, sometimes stops to talk when he wants to discuss mutual friends. And the correct answer is A, sometimes stops to talk about mutual friends in the neighborhood. Choice A provides an example of a simple sentence completion since it connects one verb, stops, to one subject, man. Choice B is a compound sentence, and choices C and D are complex sentences containing dependent clauses. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.